Hey guys, if you want to see how I got this flat twist out, then keep on watching. So first I'm starting off with clean hair, I just got out of the shower and my hair is actually dry, no product or anything and I excuse my raggedy look. <laughs> so next I'm going to section my hair into five sections. There's two sections at the back, one on each side and one at the very front of my head. So what I'm going to do is re-wet my hair with some water. And I'm going to finger detangle. The then I'm going to section that back section into two sections and detangle with my Denman brush. Next, I'm going to add my Cantu Shea Butter Leave In Conditioning Cream and I'm going to apply a generous amount because my hair is really dry and I love this stuff. Next, I'm going in with my Wild Growth Hair Oil and I'm just going to put maybe 5 to 8 drops of that oil into this section. You can use another oil if you want to like olive oil or coconut oil but I just prefer this one. Next, I'm going to use my Coconut Curling Cream from Cantu Shea Butter and I'm going to use not too much but a decent amount. And I'm going to rake that through my hair, make sure I get that from roots to tips. And I'm going to detangle with my Denman brush again. And you're going to see me detangle a lot because I like my hair to be really smooth with no kinks or coils or anything. I feel like I get the best results that way. Then I'm going to section that section into two smaller sections and detangle again <laughs> next I'm going in with my eco silo gel and I'm going to apply a small amount of that to mainly the ends I try not to use too much because it leaves like a some white flakes if you put too much and then I'm just going to do my regular flat twist um, if you don't know how to do a flat twist you know it's basically like a two strand twist and every time you twist you would pick up a piece of hair and I'm going to detangle as I go down my hair shaft because I want to keep my hair smooth as possible as smooth as possible sorry And don't worry about extra product it will dry clear next I'm going to take my short gray rods perm rods and I'm going to wrap my twist around the perm rod you can skip this step but I just like the way it looks it gives me extra definition so I just went ahead and did that and again I'm just doing the same thing like I said every time you would twist you would just pick up a piece just keep twisting and when you get to the end of the twist you detangle again to keep your hair smooth And again, I'm just going to wrap my hair around my perm rod. So the reason why I section my hair like this is because I like the way it falls. So I twist the two back sections going directly back. Then the two on the sides going towards the side and the front section going towards my face. That way when I untwist my twist, it falls the way that I like it. You see, so I have the front section going forward, 
side check sections going to the side and the back sections going back. Now I'm going to go back in with my hair growth oil and just apply that to my scalp. I really like this oil, it really does promote hair growth and it helps with itchy scalp as well. So I just put my scalp on and this is actually two days later because my hair takes forever and a day to dry. And I'm going to put some olive oil in my hand, not too much. And rub my palms together so that when I touch my hair there's no friction and it can give it some extra shine and then I go back in with some more oil and pull on my twists to add more shine to them so I'm gonna start off unraveling the front section just so that you guys can see so you want to take your time and unravel these twists I kind of rushed it to be honest but you really want to take your time to, so that you don't frizz your so that it doesn't frizz up as much so you're going to unravel in the opposite direction and every piece that you get you want to slowly remove it as you can see it just basically comes apart on its own once you take your time it shouldn't have too much frizz you see I was rushing there goes the frizz <laughs> again just unravel and it naturally falls apart and you want to make sure your hands are moisturized with some type of oil while you're doing this as well So I'm done unraveling all my twists and I'm going to go in with my pick and just pick the root of my hair. You don't want to pick the ends at all because that is just going to mess up your curls and cause nothing but frizz. And I tend not to pick too much on first day because I like to push my style so I want this hairstyle to last me at least a week and a half. <laughs> so i don't pick too much because naturally as the days go on it's going to get bigger on its own and i love that so i just pick until i'm kind of satisfied with it because i know it's gonna keep getting bigger every day but you can pick as much as you want to just pick at the root and it's gonna help shape and style the way you want your curls to form to fall and you want to just pull them pull at your curls a little bit just to stretch them out and I shake a lot because that helps to loosen them up and get them to fall in the way that I cut my hair and that is about it so I hope you guys really enjoyed this don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will be coming with some more hair videos really soon so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time